<laughs> Welcome to the episode that you all have asked me to do for a long time and I was too nervous to do it on my own so I had to enlist the help of a real god of metal, Mr. Chris Barkman. Here I am. And I felt it was only appropriate that after he killed it on the podcast, if you're not listening to Too Many Records podcast, you're doing it wrong, he knows more about metal than probably anyone I know. So we had to go through my collection and find all of the metal that I actually own, which is few and far between because it's not my usual genre. Mm -hmm. But I want to show off the ones that I think anyone could appreciate or should get into with Chris's expert commentary. Let's rock. Let's rock. F Society. Black t-shirt. Starting off strong. We're going to start off with uh, some people's favorite album of all time, probably. Most definitely. Master of Puppets. Mm -hmm. Yes. This album rocks. This is a beat copy. Uh, it has definitely seen some, some better days, um, but it is an original press, which I managed to scoop up in Boston for 20 bucks when I was visiting a couple years ago. That's a steal. I mean, this could possibly be the best metal album of all time. 86, one of the best years in metal. Is that true? Yeah. What most, else was 86? Most definitely. Rain and Blood mm, uh, Slayer. by Slayer. Uh, P. Sauls, but who's buying? Megadeth. Uh, by Megadeth. It was definitely a, a pretty solid year for for thrash. For heavy that was a big, yeah. yeah. That was the big. Uh, year for so thrash. this is thrash metal. Metallica kept the thrash thing going yeah. up until like you know Black Album. Black era. Album became a little, little more, a little more like poppy, not poppy, but like accessible. Yeah. Not as, not as like in your face heavy. S yeah, certainly more straightforward metal as yeah. opposed to like thrash. Stuff. I mean, Battery is an incredible song to open an album with. Yeah, I mean, fast. Yeah. Uh, it, it lets you pummeling. know what you're, what you're in for. Yeah, riffs, solos, amazing. Uh, Master of Puppets, obviously, the titular track is the exceptional. Titular track. Everybody knows that song, even if they're not a metal fan. Everyone yeah. knows Master of Puppets. Yeah. It's like Enter Sandman, Master of Puppets. Everyone knows that. Yeah, classic riff. It's amazing. Uh, I also love Disposable Heroes to start side two. Yeah. And Orion. Orion, an amazing instrumental. Uh, eight minutes. Yeah, eight minutes. The the bass on that is just flawless. Great bass solos. Cliff Burton, one of the best uh, bass players of all time. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, is there, what is your favorite song on this album? Um, I mean, probably Master of Puppets. I mean, oh, uh, <laughs> Surface Fan. <laughs> it's a perfect song. It yeah. just, it has an iconic riff. Um, it has a great guitar solo. Um, catchy, catchy uh, chorus. I mean, it's, it's a perfect song. I, f I feel like for me, I love Metallica. Um, it's a definitely a metal band that people who aren't into metal can get into easily because it, you know, it has good elements of rock and hard rock and you know elements that are a little more accessible than when you imagine metal being like really abrasive and aggressive. It's not like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very melodic and, yeah. and they're all masters of their instruments, mm -hmm. masters of puppets. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I go between this and Ride the Lightning as my mm -hmm. favorite. Yeah. It's hard, I, I don't think, I think it's a day to day thing, whatever you're in the mood for, but sure, yeah. they're both just like 10 out of 10 albums. Yeah. Metallica. Check them out if you don't know them. They rock. Up next is an album that you love. I love by it. By a gentleman that you love. Yes. And I would say worship, idolize. Yeah, he's amazing. Would like to date. Oh yeah, 100%. I hope he's, I hope he's single. This is Jaysu. Yes. Uh, debut album, self-titled. Yes. Um, beautiful packaging, by the way. Like, it's just mm -hmm. like so minimal. With, like, it reminds me actually a little bit of the packaging of Godspeed, uh, You Black Emperor's mm, yeah. first album. Yeah. For some reason, it just mm -hmm. reminds me of that. But. Cool die cut in the middle showing off this 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 beautiful image. This is actually a um, fun fact. It's actually made by um, Aaron Turner, who is the front man for the band ISIS. Oh. Uh, not the uh, Islamic terrorist group. <laughs> <laughs> Very important to make that <laughs> distinction. JSU is something that I'm still working on getting into. I found this, uh, this limited version of it for fairly cheap and I figured I would get it because it's um, not super easy to find this album anymore, but it's on this really cool kind of marbly, semi-translucent, like brown, mm -hmm. matches the cover really nicely, yeah. um, especially with like the tones that are in the window as well. Jaysu works with Alluvium, which I talk about on this channel constantly, who does amazing modern classical ambient music. Also, they work with Mark Kozalik on a couple releases, which mm -hmm. is a really weird combo. Yeah, Sun Kill Moon. Sun Kill Moon and Jaysu uh, do things together, and mm -hmm. that's around the era where I kind of started to check out of Sun Kill Moon, because he's losing his mind. But this album, this mm -hmm. is, would you say this is their seminal? Um, yeah, it, it really, yeah, it was, it was a big breakthrough, because at, at this point, Godflesh, uh, that project was over. Um, and they wouldn't get back together for like 10 years or so. So he had been kind of 
not out of the limelight because he, he's very very prolific uh, Justin Broderick he does a lot of remixes for a lot of people he actually he's all over as far as genres go mm. Godflesh was obviously very metal but industrial and noisy but he does electronic music I mean like which is the opposite of metal so this is considered experimental metal um, it you know has elements of shoegaze mm -hmm. elements of of drone mm -hmm. of course uh, mm -hmm. What would you say is the track on this to get people into this album or this band? Um, I would say the my personal favorites uh, are tracks two and three, Friends Are Evil and Tired of Me. Um, I think they have the closest thing to accessible or like catchy um, choruses. Um, it's very, with the shoegaze stuff, it's, it's very big sounding. Um, it's it's melodic. Uh, the guitar tones are are very heavy, very crushing. The first track, "Your Path to Divinity," that's a heavy yeah. song. That's a hard song to like get into to start off with. Yeah, definitely. If you're looking to get into metal, <laughs> this might not be the. This is like an intermediate. You gotta you gotta you gotta dip your toes in the in the Megadeth Metallica waters first. Yeah, exactly. It's to say that it's accessible is, <laughs> you know, if you're an intermediate metal fan, then yes, it is accessible. But I feel like I have a lot of cred owning this. Most definitely. It's certainly underground. Let's talk about these guys. Perfect. Shout out to Sumerian Records. Awesome mm -hmm. metal label. They have actually helped me get into a lot of sweet metal artists like Between the Buried and Me and mm -hmm. you know, I got further into the Crosses album from mm -hmm. them and all kinds of stuff like that. Juggernaut, Alpha Omega by Periphery. What what are your thoughts on this album? Um, it's a double album. It was their it's their third and fourth if you count it as if you count it as two albums. Amazing art. Yeah. I will say Incredible. I will say first of all, metal has the coolest art of any genre, consistently. Certainly. Like, yeah. Unbelievable. Some are minimal like this, periphery, they sort of do a minimal thing, but as you can the see, when, when you open the gatefold, it's, it's like, yeah, there's just stuff going on. Yeah. This is satanic. Um so this Still is metal. this is prog metal. Yes. More or less. More or less. It's sort of it takes elements from prog but it's they are the popular version of a newer genre called gent i've never even heard of this yes gent it's 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 the new hot thing <laughs> wow guys you're getting in here first on too many records gent <laughs> yes thing. New what hot. is gent gent would refer to the guitar tone um that a lot of these bands have very gentle peaceful correct yeah it's very <laughs> quiet no it's it's quite the opposite it's usually very <laughs> very down tuned like seven eight string guitars but it refers to sort of a the attack that goes into the riffs that's very staccato um and it's sort of the gent gent sound okay like that's the noise yeah. you're actually hearing like gent got it like that's what the riff makes it's like that's dubstep being like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> right it's just like dubstep <laughs> uh, these guys have become sort of the uh not poster boys uh but they pop sort of popularized it because they're very okay. they are very accessible because of how melodic they are but uh, Meshuggah is sort of known as the ori oh, originators. Oh, that's Chugga Chugga. <laughs> yes, Meshuggah yeah. is sort of the originators of Gent. And you love Meshuggah. I love Meshuggah. They're one of the they're one of the best metal bands. Uh, too heavy for me. Would you say that uh, uh, this is a good place to start, or to start with the uh, one or two? Um, to start, uh, actually, it, it depends on where you're coming from. If you're brand new to metal and you're looking to get in, this is a pretty this is a pretty good place because the the first uh, album of this double album, uh, Alpha is very accessible it's very melodic i actually think this was I, I haven't listened to the radio in quite some time but i believe they had a single or singles on alpha that were actually on the radio really S yeah yeah so they, they've actually gone into that territory but it's still very metal um great riffs they're masterful at their instruments um but it's a lot of melodic singing um clean guitars um, they have a lot of, they'll add a lot of um, string elements, mm -hmm. um, stuff like that. So that really adds to the accessibility of it. So cool, easy to get into. If you're more, if you're already sort of into metal and stuff like that, I, I would start just with their first album. It's pretty classic. Sweet. Periphery. They're trying to build a prison! They're trying to build a prison! Bam, 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 bam. Yes. I, this album is a 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Maybe even an 11. <laughs> As someone who's not a big metal fan, 
This album, uh, I posted it on my Instagram when I got it because I just picked up an original press, not a bootleg of Toxicity by System of a Down. Uh, I spent less than it usually goes for, but more than I'm proud of. And they just announced yesterday that they are going to be doing reissues of their whole catalog on vinyl. Dun, dun, dun. I'm really happy to own an original press because this album is very important to me. Mm -hmm. Eighth grade, I wore a System of a Down hat every day. Mm -hmm. Didn't have many friends. Uh, I had well, so we, many friends. We have we have so much in common. <laughs> <laughs> but that's because this album it, it like changed my the way I thought. Like I felt like I was like politically minded as, as an mm. eighth grader, and I felt right. like angry at nothing and everything at the same time. Mm -hmm. this, Metal's really good for stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, but this album in particular, it has this joyful kind of like weird carnival like aspect to it, yeah. while being aggressive and in your face. It definitely has this kind of like mm -hmm. jovial kind of welcoming presence, like. Prison Song is one of the coolest openings to any album ever. It goes between like heavy and like, like almost like poppy. And yeah. there's, there's not really a genre that defines that song. The band itself, System of a Down, is really tough to categorize. Sometimes they're thrown into new metal just because of when they came out. They came out and you know, their first album was 98, I believe. So that was sort of a, the height of the first wave of This new was 2001, so that's like hybrid theory era. Right, exactly. That's like the beginning of second wave new metal. But I mean, I would categorize them as alternative metal um, because they really don't have uh, much of the fundamental elements that you would need to be an actual new metal band. They don't really have m really anything that sounds like hip hop or they, they don't use really any electronics or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, they have keyboards and strings, um, but it's, it's definitely not done in that new metal fashion. Serge's vocals are operatic yes. and really aggressive and intense and he flips between them just like on the drop of a hat. It's like amazing. Yeah. Uh, there's not a bad song on this album either. No, Every song, I, there's not even one like remote, oh, I'll skip this. Yeah. My favorites, I mean, Prison Song, Dear Dance, Chop Suey's the single that everyone knows. Right. Wake up! Everyone knows it. <laughs> uh, Bounce. Forest is a great way to end side A too. And mm -hmm. then Atwa is my favorite System of a Down song. That song is beautiful and intense and crazy. Mm -hmm. And then of course Toxicity was a huge hit for them as well. Yeah. Um, Psycho and Aerials. Like everything about this, I can't even pick a favorite because it's just it's that good. Yeah. It System of a Down. I think what what made them amazing, and I mean obviously this is why they're so popular. But they they transcend. They are metal, but they sort of just transcend their own genre. And that, that's really what makes the album timeless and just a complete classic. Mm -hmm. It's, you're able to get, you know, that, the angsty stuff, their, their punk side, yeah. you know, but then also Surge is such a great singer uh, and they're, they're so melodic, their, their instrumentals are so dynamic, it's heavy. It's clean. This this album, the production is is so clean. Oh, it's Rick Rubin. Rick Rubin yeah. produced this. I mean, of course it's clean. He's yeah. a, a god. Yeah, absolute legend. And yeah, I, I think they just they transcend outside their own genre. That's why they're they're so popular. Anyone could and should appreciate this band and this album specifically. Mm -hmm. Really happy that they're reissuing everything on vinyl because I'm gonna pick it all up and get into a heavy system phase. I feel it's it's happening. And don't forget, after Aerials, there is a secret track. So don't turn that. Don't take that needle off. <laughs> Little, little secret track. Let it ride. This next thing also falls into the, the realm of uh, eighth grade Matt trying to be hard and mm -hmm. heavy. Yes. Uh, this is uh, a box set that I'm really happy I picked up. This is the Rammstein box set of their whole discography. Um, plus, I believe there is a, uh, it's like a, a greatest hits or a B-sides compilation as well. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, Rammstein mm -hmm. from Germany. All the way from Germany. All the way from Germany. Uh, they managed to do the same thing the System of a Down does in the way that it's accessible metal that is as 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 poppy as it is really heavy and mm -hmm. has a lot of cred. I feel like metal fans respect Rammstein, even though a lot of people only know them for Du Hast or from the sure, yeah. X soundtrack with Vin Diesel. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Vin Diesel. It's amazing. I bought the box set because every one of their albums has merit mm -hmm. in one way or another, and it yeah. all brings me back to that. Like, I mean, obviously some of it came out after I was in eighth grade, but the, I was really <laughs> heavily into uh, the stuff that was out at that time. Specifically, I will say, Muter. And I'm gonna pronounce everything wrong. But this album is my favorite. It has the most hits, I think. Links 2, 3, 4, Ich, ich Will, Freier Frei, Muter, Zwieter. Those are all real songs. <laughs> and they're all incredible songs. First of all, this box set is so well done. They remastered everything for vinyl. Um, they're all gatefolds that are just like these really beautiful, well-done gatefolds, and they all have like 
Or most of them have some kind of like spot foil treatment. Not this one, weirdly enough. But hmm. um, they all sound very good, um, which is cool. Your favorite is? Uh, my favorite is I will bounce back and forth between Mutter or Rise Rise. Let's pull out that Rise Rise. Ooh. Yeah, see this has like an embossed cover. Yeah. Like very, very nice, very well done. What do you love about Rise Rise? Um, some of the songs, I think, this is just, to me, it's some of their, some of their best songwriting. America um, is such a good song. America is it's so it's good. So, the, and the, the video is really funny. Um, Mind Tile, uh, is really, like, the lyrical content is very dark if you, if you look up the translation, it's, it's really dark stuff. And, and the, and the story behind the song is super dark. Um, Kind Lost, uh, another great song, super catchy. I mean, that's what that's what good about Rammstein is that all the music is very heavy, mm -hmm. but it's super catchy. Yeah. A lot of times for me with metal, it's like you really have to like force yourself to like get acc accustomed to the sound and like it's not catchy. It's not like immediately like oh this is melodic. Mm -hmm. It's like very much like you have to appreciate the instrumentation and really like appreciate the sound that the band has as a whole. Mm -hmm. With Rammstein, it's like it manages to be both perfectly. Yeah, they're they're certainly very uh, accessible. Uh, that's definitely why they're so popular I mean the again it's similar in the way like you said of system of a down the way they combine just catchy choruses the riffs are very catchy but I mean what makes them metal metallic is just the heavy tone uh, the the lyrical content is you know some some dark stuff and the vocals are pretty growly I mean it's like yeah. it's melodic in the way that Surge does is kind of like operatic melodic stuff yeah but it also has like Ugh. he's very his voice is very deep it's a low low register and it just it makes it sound very very tough yeah. and very big sounding yeah. very scary sounding so I think that really what puts them into like the metal category can you pronounce that title uh, I want to say it's pronounced. Scene sucked. Scene sucked. This is what I meant. Spot <laughs> foil treatment right here. Really nice touch. Like they don't have to do that, but they do it. Really creepy. As 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 mentioned, art on metal albums is sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is probably has some of their biggest hits. Angel and uh, Duhas is their biggest hit by far. Sometimes I'm pissed off that vinyl boxes are coming out and they're just cash ins, like they're digital mastering, or it's just like they don't take the care to make the record sound good. It's just a cash in. This is actually a box set done for vinyl fans. So if you like Rammstein or you want to get into them, this is an amazing way to do it, and it's just a really well constructed box. All the albums. All the albums plus bonuses. Ready to go. Those are five metal artists and albums that I. I think you should try to listen to and get into if you're looking to get into metal or if you like metal and you don't know any of these that's kind of crazy because they're all fairly surface level on the top um good places to enter mm -hmm. thank you for your knowledge oh glad, um, glad to spread the word of of metal if, the sound that is metal if you guys like this metal video i can probably acquire five more over the next couple months get chris back on and we can do a second version leave a comment let me know if you like it also listen to the podcast the two of us did he goes into like black metal and some really interesting things tell some good stories mm -hmm. uh it's a great episode it's an early episode of the too many records podcast so dive back on spotify itunes wherever you listen to it and uh give it a listen do you have anything you want to promote any social media or anything absolutely not cool thank you chris for coming on always a pleasure you're welcome if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up please subscribe and more videos soon horns up